Good morning, Survivor. So we're out here in the hot desert, and of course, because we are looking at the Desert Vulture, the new heavy handgun in Alpha 197 Days to Die. And as you saw there, it's quite effective at shooting down quite a few of the zombies without having to reload. It has pretty good damage, obviously, nice magazine, a fast fire rate, so yeah, I think it fits a really good role as the tier 3 handgun. We see here the actual model. It actually looks really good. Of course, I put on a couple of mods there. As you can see, I have the red dot sight and I have the laser sight below. But it looks really good. Desert Virtual Pistol made in the USA. 44 Magnum. Ooh. And if we have a quick look at it, I'm going to show it and contrast a little bit to the 44 Magnum because that's probably the closest weapon and the, the Magnum is the tier 2 level. Now to go a little bit back to basic, to craft this one you need to find the Desert Vulture schematic and read it. Then you need to find a workbench and of course you need a bunch of materials as well. Now this one like most of the weapon crafting is depending on your skill which quality level now because I don't have anything unlocked as far as quality levels or skill perks it's going to be quality one which requires six handgun parts for steel duct tape polymers and spring and as the quality level goes up so does the material requirements. And if you wonder which perk tree it is, it is of course agility, which has pistols and revolvers. So it's the gunslinger that you have to bring up on uh, level one. You can craft quality two, then it goes up to three, four, and five at the top. Now, if you want to find a quality six, well, you better be looting a lot and be higher level or buy it at the traders or possibly get it as a loot reward. I did hear some. I am back that they were saying that you're not going to be able to find quality 6 in loot, but that can't be correct because I've actually found quality 6 in loot. But uh, So those are the way to get it. And if we take it just a little bit of a look in comparison with the Magnum. So we have the Magnum, which is a really good weapon. It's been one of my favorite ones for Alpha 80 because of the high damage. And uh, if you headshot uh, the zombies, you do massive extra damage as well. So it does have a small magazine size. Rounds per minute is not extremely interesting. Range as well, pretty basic and normal durability. If we go to the Desert Vault, you will see it actually has more magazine which makes sense because well it's not a six shooter it has faster fire rate and durability is higher but the damage is slightly lower you might think well that's probably just an oddity but no if you look at most of the quality levels you have the pretty much the same thing you have slightly less damage you have higher magazine rounds per minute and durability but you see that here if I compare all these ones, most of them have the same pattern, which means that the 44 Magnum is actually slightly higher damage. But when you look at the Desert Vulture, because it has a higher capacity, it has eight or nine, depending on, let's see if I find any nine. This one has nine, actually, if I remove my mods, if I do that. You'll see that this one has nine so it depends a little bit so it's 50 percent more but that's not actually the main thing that really helps another pretty significant thing is that these are the mods that actually fit on the desert vultures if i do modify you'll see they're all all nice and green if i do the same thing on the magnum you'll see a few of them actually don't blink anymore for instance you can put a magazine extender mod on the magnum it does not work same thing you cannot have a silencer you can't have the trigger groups or semi or burst either. And I forgot the last one, the full auto mod, which actually fits on the Desert Vulture as well. So that is a bit of a difference. But what really shines here is that the Desert Vulture can have the silencer mod. If you have been trying to clear POIs a little bit more quietly without waking everything up, sil silencer mod is awesome. Even further, because you can put on a magazine extender mod, you can go from not just nine rounds, but you can go up to 13 rounds. If you compare that with the same tier or same quality level of Magnum, it's basically double slightly more of rounds before you have to reload. And that is huge. So the slight downside of having slightly less damage is more than enough compensated by having faster fire rate, higher durability, and of course a double 
potential magazine size if you put on the magazine extender. And that actually is gonna make probably this one my favorite handgun. So just quickly, you know, testing, a, uh, testing it out and playing around with it, I would say the top mods that I would really consider putting on the Desert Vulture would be the Magazine Extender mod, obviously because it makes it, well, you don't have to reload as often. A Reflex Sight is always nice. Laser Sight is good if you don't aim down sights and maybe cripple them so that they cripple and don't run towards you as fast. The Rat Remover can also be really good during Horde Nights. Silencer, again, situational if you need to be a little bit more quiet. Flashlight mod, if you're in dark places and you don't have a helmet light, might be useful. Barrel extender does work, but probably more if you're sort of sniping at a distance. Same thing with a muscle break. And if you're using, of course, a 2x scope, for instance, then these ones might be useful. The actual trigger groups, I'm not really sure where they are really useful. Like on many weapons, they actually feel a little bit awkward. Um, if you don't have anything else, of course, it helps to put them on. If you're doing hunting of animals, the hunter mod obviously is really useful. Scope 2x, again, if you're using it as sort of a makeshift uh, sniper, which actually can work pretty well because it has such high damage. And if you're getting high headshots, then that's going to be, I think in some cases, up to 3.1 3.5 times the damage so you can hit something like 350 damage even without specking into well headshots or the, the guns in general and that means you end up with something like this it has a pretty good recoil as you can see but because you're unlikely be, to be shooting this one extremely fast it probably is fairly easy to manage as well so for instance if i have a bunch of joes here whoa then of course you can probably take the time to just headshot them as well and normally unless they're the fat mamas these ones definitely don't have enough health points to survive a headshot big mamas apparently can because well they're big what can i say i also like the sound it sounds really nice and meaty and let me see if i put on the hold on let me take off this one let me put on the silencer might be good maybe we'll do the 2x scope as well and uh yeah something like that and let's see here we'll spawn in a few more zombies here let's do some darlene's you see you do get a bit of a scope and you notice how quiet it is comparably now of course the crosshairs are still fairly big so it's not like it's something that you would really use at a at an extreme distance but if you're sort of trying to clear a poi this would actually work pretty well. You need to crouch down a little bit, get a smaller crosser, and well, be a little bit better shooting than I am, perhaps. And just take them out that way, quietly, deadly, and with extreme prejudice. And of course, if you put on the full auto mod, well, you might be able to mow down a few of them reasonably fast, but uh, I don't think it's a lot faster than just pulling the trigger manually. Still, it's an awesome weapon, definitely. If you find it, go find some uh, Magnum ammo and uh, just go to town. Hope you enjoyed this short little guide. And if you did, make sure you leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.